peoples made pledges for Change Day 2013. But within Greater Manchester, Thameside made more pledges than any other hospital. And I would really like to congratulate the staff for all the effort and energy that went into making care better for patients. My role in, in terms of ensuring that happens is facilitating a culture which will enable staff to participate and not well, only participate but actually lead the necessary changes. Uh, and I think that's critical in terms of my position and my role is providing that leadership. I think what we did for NHS Change Day 2013 was make it as real as possible. We decided to actually set up a, a visual board, a symbolic wall of pledges in our main entrance of the hospital. We decided that to take it out to um, the department rather than ask people to bring pledges to us because it really was about grassroots and about involving everyone. Do you know, if I was asked to say what the five best things are about staffing this hospital, I would say their courage, their commitment, their compassion, the quality of care that they're delivering today and um, their enthusiasm for change here at Tentai. What we're doing is facilitating an exchange programme between two organisations so any staff working at any level between those organisations can actually look at working across those organisations, working with the different teams to share best practice, to look at innovation and to look at what they can actually change to improve patient care. Uh, yeah, the staff told us that the pledges that really worked and the, the ones that had the most impact were the ones that took everybody back to basics, the simple ones, the ones where people pledged to smile at people and, and they really committed to doing that and did it. The, the pledges that were around talking to patients and a number of pledges were around talking to at least one patient on the ward about how their experience could have been better and it, it was something that they could really commit to and actually that they got something back from as well. They were the, the pledges that were the most successful. So when you think about making a snowball in winter, that snowball consists of millions of snowflakes and all those tiny tiny snowflakes come together to form one tangible snowball. And I guess change days rather like that. All of those tiny, tiny pledges that might not mean a lot at the top level, but at the bottom level means so, so much because when they're all combined together, just like the snowball, each of those snowflakes, each of those pledges bind to create that critical mass for change. And that's what we've got here at Thameside. We got it right because the organisation here really values their staff and it also values the patient care that we deliver here. Uh, everybody here is very, very committed. This is their local hospital. People want to make a difference. And I think the pledges last year and also this year are a real commitment to their um, energy, their passion and their commitment to the local population. I think it's really important that that, that is recognised. And I think this is one way of actually demonstrating their commitment towards that. I think it's really important for staff to um, actually share best practice, to share ideas and to look at greater innovation and I think actually staff exchanging uh, experiences uh, within the workplace, coming together to share ideas, to look at what individuals are doing within different organisations is really important because that's where you get your, your challenge or secure that challenge. Um, and so that you do start looking at new ideas and looking at sharing best practice. And by coming together, uh, you do develop uh, the uh, new uh, opportunities to actually facilitate change. And my pledge for NHS Change Day is to take one positive action for every negative situation that I see or hear to do with staff or patient experience and not to accept negativity. My pledge is to work with clinical teams in the ward environment at least half a day every month going forward. However, I'd like to create a challenge for my colleagues. The first team that gets every member signed up making a pledge for change day, 
I will commit and pledge to work with their team for an entire day. My name is Naz and my pledge is to develop and create more um, protected time slots for staff to come and talk to me about safeguarding. For the first hundred of staff that sign up to the exchange programme, I will commit to five individuals to shadow me uh, for one day a month. I know when you're on the front line of care and you make a big effort to change things, it often feels like you've made this very big effort and nobody's listening and nobody's taking notice. So as somebody who has been at the, the centre, if you like, of the National Change Day effort, I wanted to reassure you, um, the frontline staff of Thameside Hospital, how important your work is and the extent to which other people are listening and wanting to learn about your experience and actually when we're thinking about Change Day 2014 what you've done, what we've learnt from you has been really important actually it's been nationally significant in terms of planning for our next phase of change